Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 169. That is explain agile core values. Let me answer. Agile core values belong to agile manifesto. Like every political party has a manifesto before elections. Similarly, agile also has a manifesto that is agile manifesto, which comprises of four agile core values and 12 agile principles. Any projects which follow any of the agile methodologies or practices should follow this agile manifesto, which consists of four agile core values and 12 agile principles. So in this session, let's focus on the core values. There are four agile core values, okay? There are four agile core values. So in this agile, or in this four agile core values, we have to focus, okay? As per agile, the left side items should be given more importance than the right side items, okay? Here, when I expand this four agile core values, you see there is left side item like individuals and interactions. Right side item is process and tools. Here, individuals and interactions, which is on the left side, should be valued more than process and tool, which is mentioned on the right side. As per agile, okay, if a particular project is following any agile methodologies or practices, then as part of Agile Manifesto, that particular project should follow these core values, should give importance to these core values where the left side items should be given more importance in the projects than the right side items, okay? I, I, uh, this doesn't mean that right side should be ignored, okay? It's saying that it should be given more value, okay? Right, left side items are more valued than the right side, okay? Should be more valued in the projects than the right side items. So what are these four Agile core values then? Coming to the first one, individuals and interactions individuals and interactions over process and tools. So that means they are indirectly stating that in agile following projects, the process should be given least importance. Tools also should be given least importance, but individuals and their direct communication, that is direct interaction should be given more importance. Example guys, let me give an example. For example, if there is a situation where uh, due to something, something need to be communicated within the team, okay? So in one of the agile projects, if something need to be communicated, instead of going for traditional communication by using commenting feature in the tools and all, okay, if we do a face-to-face -face communication where individuals and interactions communication will happen, face-to-face -face communication, right? Face-to-face -face communication to be given more importance than other forms of communication via commenting features in tools. By using commenting features in tools also we can communicate. But agile says that, the more importance, more value should be given for direct communication. Face-to-face -face communication should be given more importance because it falls into individuals and interactions category. Now, next Agile core value is working software over comprehensive documentation. Okay, let me explain about this. Uh, here, left side item is working software which should be valued more than comprehensive documentation. It doesn't mean that documentation should be less. It means that more importance or more value or more focus should be given for the working software. Ultimately, the customer or client wants a software. The customer or client doesn't want beautiful documentations or lengthy documentation. You see, if you go to the traditional projects, right, where Agile is not followed, what they do in the projects is rather than focusing on developing or building a better software, they focus on creating very beautiful documentation which are of lengthy size. They want to impress the client with this documentation, okay? They consume all the time for creating this beautiful documentations. So, but customer, does he want the documentation? No, customer wants a working software over the documentation, okay? Customer will only impress if he gets a software he can release into the market, okay? Faster. So, should be in uh, as per the second uh, agile core value okay uh, less importance should be given to the documentation it doesn't mean that documentation should be eliminated but less importance should be given to the documentation as a customer ultimately wants working software to release into the market okay focus more focus should be on the activities that result in okay creating a working software rather than uh, wasting the time by spending a lot of time on creating uh, comprehensive documentation and all okay Fine, that is the second Agile core value, guys. Third, Agile core value states that customer collaboration over contract negotiation. If you go to the traditional projects, guys, what happens is initially uh, meetings will happen between the team and the client side. They discuss about the requirements. Once they understood, uh, the team wants the client to freeze the requirements, okay? The team decide who need to develop and test the software, right? 
wants the requirements to be freezed and they don't want uh, the client to change the requirements later in the later phases of the project okay because uh, you see timelines are very strict timelines will be there and uh, the teams complains that okay if you keep changing the requirements we will not be able to deliver the software on time such kind of situations happens in the traditional projects where uh, contract negotiations negotiations happen in the beginning of the project where the requirements or any other things will be getting locked okay they cannot be changed further if they have to be changed again the uh, the client has to the client or customer has to negotiate with the team okay now i want the changes in the requirements so what we have to do such kind of negotiation should happen so such kind of culture should be going away switch it to the other kind of culture where customer collaboration should be there should be given more importance than the cost contract negotiation we, instead of wasting the time on contract negotiation we should be open for what customer says at any point of time during the project instead of locking the requirements during the beginning of the project by writing and signing contracts okay collaborating with the customers on working uh, working with them by being open to their needs and expectations is something we have to move forward okay that is possible in agile projects if agile projects follow this one of the core values stated okay so customer collaborations over contract negotiations is one of the core value which makes it possible in agile projects where customers don't have to negotiate okay whatever they want they will assign to us and we'll do do them for them okay do the work for them okay by being open to their needs and uh, expectations and fourth one is responding to change over following a plan rather than sticking to a plan okay rather than sticking to a plan and not deviating the plan when the opportunities or situations demand okay when the surrounding in the project when the surrounding things demand or when there some opportunities come if strict, strictly we are sticking to the plan and uh, we don't want to deviate from the plan because of that we are not in taking any opportunities or something okay so so that's the problem right if you are sticking to the plan and trying to go only according to the plan things will lose we'll lose lot of things and we'll we we'll lose lot of opportunities okay instead we should uh, switch our focus in such a way that we should respond to the change the market demands something in the market something new came and uh, that if we incorporate that kind of thing into our project the project will succeed let's say in such kind of cases sticking to a plan and not accepting such kind of things which will give benefits on the long run in the project that will be a uh, kind of problem right so instead of sticking to the plan and not deviating the plan when the situations demand we should respond to the changes when things make sense and offer better benefits okay okay we should respond to them rather than sticking to a plan and restricting them we have to respond to them incorporate them and reap the benefits that arise because of responding to the changes in the market okay so the last agile core value says that we have to respond to the change over following a strict plan plans doesn't work out okay we have to be adaptive to the market and all we have to respond to the change in the market changes in the market rather than sticking to a plan and following that blindly so hope guys uh, you understood all the four agile core values in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye